today I am going to talk about sports injuries. So watch and listen. Yeah. Right now the time is six o'clock in the evening and today is Thursday and outside the weather is bad. It is raining today. So in this video I am talking about sports injuries and I have had a lot of injuries while playing sports. This here is me. This is the front of my body and this is the back of my body. The first type of injury that I am going to talk about is broken bones. Broken bones are very common in sports but thankfully I have only ever broken two bones. The first bone which I broke was my big toe. So here is my foot and I broke the bone in my big toe and this was really sore. I broke my toe while playing football. One of the other players stood stamped on my toe and this broke the bone in my toe and for four weeks after this I really struggled to walk. So walking was very difficult. The second bone which I broke was my collar bone. This is my collar bone. I have two, one here and another here. And I broke my collar bone while cycling. I was cycling do, 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 along and all of a sudden somebody walked on front of me. So I pressed the brakes, the brakes stop and the front wheel, so the front wheel stopped spinning. It stopped spinning and the bike, the back of the bike tipped up the way and I went over the handlebars and landed on my front and my collar bone broke and this was agony it was oh so sore and this took six weeks to get better the second type of injury which I have had is a torn muscle. So a torn muscle. So these are muscles. I have torn two different muscles. The first muscle which I Tore was my calf. The calf 
is the bottom part of the back of the leg. So the top of the leg is called the thigh. And the bottom half of the leg is called the shin. And the back, the back of the shin is called the calf. And I tore my calf. And this was really painful. I could not run. I could not run for eight weeks. It took me eight weeks to recover. The second muscle that I tore was my upper back. So this is the back here. And I tore a muscle in my upper back. And this muscle is called the trap. And this was the worst injury that I have ever had. This was absolutely agony. It was so sore. And still, it has not recovered 100%. So I still have a weakness. So strong, weak. I still have a weakness in my upper back. The next type of injury that I have had is a pulled muscle. A pulled muscle, pulled muscle is like a torn muscle, except not as bad. So a torn muscle is really bad. A pull is like a small tear. So a tear is big, a tear is major, a pull is less major, it's minor, it's a minor tear. So to get better, a tear might take six or eight weeks, whereas a pulled muscle might take two or four weeks to get better. And I, I have pulled three different muscles. I have pulled my hamstring. Hamstring is the back of the thigh. And this is very common, happens all the time in football. A hamstring, so the back of the thigh, a hamstring injury is very common in football. And I pulled my hamstring while playing football. The second muscle that I pulled was my quadricep. And the quad is the front of the thigh. So this is the quad, this is the hamstring. Quad, hamstring. Quad means four because there are four different muscles in the quad reset. Quad reset is the long name. Quad is the short name. And we say quad. So the quad is made up of four different 
muscles. And I pulled one of these. The third muscle that I pulled was a muscle in my neck. My neck. And this happened while I was playing not football, but rugby. I was playing rugby and I <coughs> twisted <coughs> my neck and pulled a muscle in it. And for about four weeks after this, I struggled uh, to turn my head. It was really difficult to turn my neck. So I ended up turning my whole body to look around. So normally I would turn like this, but I had to turn like, like that. So it was really uh, annoying. The fourth type, the fourth different type of injury that I have had is a twist. I have twisted two different parts of my body. I twisted my shoulder, shoulder like this, and I twisted my wrist. And both of these injuries, so both happened playing golf. I was swinging the golf club. I was swinging the golf club and I twisted my shoulder. And this was quite sore. And on a different day, so not the same day, no. On a different day, I was swinging the golf club and I twisted my wrist. And this also was very ah, sore. And there are two other injuries that I have had. The first of these is called shin splints. And this is when your shin swells up and it is very hard to walk, very difficult and ah, painful. And the other injury that I have had is known as runner's knee. The knee is the part of the leg between the shin and the thigh. So the thigh is the top half and the shin is the bottom half and joining the shin and the thigh is the knee. And runners, knee is when you get tiny, tiny tears, tiny tears in the muscles in your knee. Runner's knee is not a really bad injury. No, it is not really ugh, sore. But runner's knee takes a long time to fully recover. It took me about two years Two years is 24 months. So it took me 24 months to fully, fully recover. So this was really ah, annoying. Not really ow, sore, but really ah, annoying because for these two years, I could not play football. No. So the worst 
injury that I had in terms of ah pain is when I tore a muscle in my upper back. But the most annoying was runner's knee because it took two years to fully recover. So these are all of the injuries that I have gotten while playing sports. Let me know in the comments below if you have had any injuries while playing sports. If you liked this video, then subscribe because we make two new videos every week. Thank you for watching and listening and I will see you in the next video. Bye!